join us and lead us in worship today. So I'm really looking forward to all of the service. Thank Francis, you, it's all yours. Thank you, Andrew. Just to explain what you've got in front of you um, in Tonga, first Sunday of May is um, White Sunday. And I think traditionally because that's our children, we are white, they are number one. Um, because today the children are going to run the service today and, and the focus is on the children. So welcome and um, this is the first time that it's only my family is presenting this. So here we go. We'll start with call to worship. And it's from Psalm 107. Shout to the Lord. For he is good to us and is our The Lord has rescued everyone from trouble. We praise God. We should praise God for his love. And the wonderful things he has for us all. By the power of God's mercy, God, God saved us from death. Praise God for his love and grace. Our first hymn this morning is from uh, hymn 77, How Great Thou Art. And you can see it's going to be English and Māori. Our prayers are thanksgiving and confession. We pray. Thank you, God that our names were on the wake-up list this morning. As each of us woke, the beating of our hearts was the first miracle each of us experienced from you today. Thank you that each of us are alive today, healthy, blessed, and loved. Thank you for protecting our families and friends and providing our needs. We just want to say thank you for the gift of life. No requests for things we think we want. No complaints. Just the fact that we are alone. We may not have everything, but we are grateful for everything we need comes to us in the right moment. Thank you for not expecting us to try and be someone other than the person you have made us to be. So we thank you for the abilities and skills that you've given each of us to use to honour you. Father, you created each of us in your own image. You know our thoughts before we speak to them. You x-ray our hearts and see through our excuses and intentions. Your spirit warns us. Disappointment and discouragement have taken their toll on us. So now we are confessing our desperate need for you, Lord Jesus. You have promised that when we will confess our sins, you will forgive us and make us clean again. Lord, each of us are truly in need of forgiveness. You paid for our sin with your own death on the cross. Father, just as you created the world out of nothing, Lord, create a clean heart out of our nothingness. Thank you, Lord that sin does not disqualify us. Instead, like a runner who has fallen, who gets up again, we too are willing to start again and finish the race you have set for each of us. Instead of a meltdown, with your help, we will allow your spirit to give us a hot heart for you. Thank you, Jesus, for your sweet forgiveness and promised restoration. May we always have the eyes to see the best. 
a heart that forgives the worst, a mind that forgets the bad, and a soul that never loses faith. In your name, Lord Jesus, we ask these things. Amen. So now I ask the family to come up and we are going to sing a song for you. Whatever happens, keep 
thanking God because of Jesus Christ. This is what God wants you to do. The message, my message is to encourage children for a thankful heart. Go sit down, you might as well. Yeah, I'm gonna hold it. Okay, ready? Ready? Yeah. School was terrible today. Why? There were flies in my soup at lunch, the teacher gave us tons of homework, and even the basketball was fed at playtime. You had a pretty rough day. And tonight it's my turn to help with the dishes. Ugh. It won't take long. Aria, you haven't noticed my new glasses yet. I noticed, but I think your glasses look dumb. They make me look sophisticated, and I think they're wonderful. How can we always happy about everything? Because I try to be thankful for everything. But everything always goes wrong for me. There's nothing to be thankful for. There's always something to be thankful for. You just have to look for it. How about homework? It helps us learn more. Washing dishes? Well, I'm thankful, thankful we have food to put on the plate, which is what makes them need washing, and that mum cooks it for us, and for water to wash the dishes with. Okay, okay, I get it. It's all in the way you see things. You can complain, or you can be thankful. How could I be thankful when the ball was flat today? You fixed it with that little pump, didn't you? Yeah, well... Then be thankful you didn't have to use your mouth. All right, Minnie. Aria, I think you need a pair of new glasses too. But my eyes are perfect. Um, are these should go on the inside on your heart. Glasses on your heart? That's crazy. All you ever see are things to complain about. I wish you had a special pair of glasses that would make you see things to be thankful for. I guess I could try to see things like you do. It would be like having that special pair of glasses and things would look better to you. 
You know, Minnie, your new glasses don't really look dumb. I think I actually like you in those new glasses. And I'm going to like you in your new glasses too. I struggle along And they say I am nothing But they are so wrong In my heart I'm rejoicing How I wish they could see Thank you Lord For your blessings on me There's a roof above me I've a good place to sleep and there's food on my table and shoes on my feet you gave me your love Lord and a fine family thank you Lord for your blessings on me clothes they're not new and I don't have much money but Lord I have you and that's all that matters though the world may not see thank you Lord for your blessings on me there's a roof up above me good place to sleep and there's food on my table and shoes on my feet you gave me love lord and a fine family thank you lord for your blessings on me thank you lord for your blessings sings on me Thank you Aria and Manasseh Our next hymn is What a Friend We Have in Jesus and that will be both in English and Tongan
May the peace of Christ be with you. If you want to stand up and share the peace of Christ with each other and visitors, you're welcome. give up on us so now we're going to have our offering and that will be that will be followed by any notices that we have thank you let's pray Dear Lord, we thank you for all the blessings that we have, the money, the resources that you give us for our need. God, we bow our head as we say thank you, and we ask you to give us the wisdom to do the work of your kingdom here in the church, our community, and in the rest of the world. Amen.
Yes, no drama this morning. <laughs> My talk this morning is based on the readings that were read to us by Arya in Manasseh. Also in the short drama that was introduced by Josiah and Elijah and then performed by Arya in Manasseh. Their message was to encourage children to develop a grateful heart. As we listen to Arya and Manasseh engaging in a simple conversation about everyday events, a private conversation between two kids with very different attitude. One is complaining about everything and being negative and grumpy, while the other is grateful, positive, and happy in the situation he is in. The grumpy one believes everything goes wrong for her and that she has nothing to be grateful for, while the other tries to see the positive the good in everything and therefore is appreciative and grateful for it. The positive child has obviously developed a habit of gratitude and thankfulness. If you and I are honest, we can really relate to both the positive and the negative attitude that Arya and Manasseh had portrayed to us in the drama this morning. Yes, we know that life is a mixed bag of good days and bad days, highs and lows, simple and complex experiences. But it's up to us to try and navigate around the obstacles and challenges in our lives for a better and peaceful life. If we want our children, our homes, our community to be peaceful, happy, and positive places to be. Then here are some ideas that I have to offer this morning. First, model positive attitudes. For when we demonstrate positive and thankful attitude in our lives and relationships, our children then learn from our actions and our words. They copy what they see and hear. When children learn what they have are gifts, not entitlement, 
then they are likely to be thankful and grateful. Notice how the simple task of giving thanks, like saying, I'm grateful for the clothes, grateful for the food, roof over our heads, families and friends. These actions, behaviours become active demonstration, role modelling that these gifts are greatly valued and are not taken for granted or entitlement. The focus is on what is going well. Focus is on the blessings, the success, instead of putting down and criticizing everything. I really believe it's impossible to be grateful and complain at the same time. Second, we are to support and encourage our children and each other to have positive attitudes. Instead of complaining about what people do wrong, focus on what they do right. Help people who are afraid so that they will develop courage and trust. Help those who are weak so that they will be strong. Be patient with each other so that everyone feels valued and loved. Be kind to each other and everyone, not just here in our church, not just be kind to the people who we have the same views as us, or be kind to the people who look like us or act like us. If we are kind to everyone, people will feel included, welcomed, and accepted. These are the core values that we all like to achieve. Last but not least, whatever we do or say, always, always thank God for his love and mercy and for the greatest gift of his son Jesus Christ. For in God's eyes, our value was established on the cross. In Romans chapter 8 verse 32, the Bible tells us, God didn't spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. Thanks be to God. Amen. We come to bring our prayers for others and ourselves, and as we do at uh, various moments, I will say we long to see you at work in our lives and invite you to respond with, Lord, hear our prayers. We pray. As we come to you with our petitions, God, we have big things to ask and small things. There are the big things like looking after the new King of England, searching for peace in Ukraine and Sudan and the many other places facing armed conflict, caring for those in the midst of famine or disease or both. We pause to bring these things to you, God. God of nations, we long to see you at work in our lives. Lord, hear our prayers. Then there are the small things, 
the personal things, the things that matter to me but not to anyone else. Our gardens and homes, our families, our friends, our health, which can sometimes loom large, but is often just a raft of small ailments that make life more complex. We pause to bring these things to God. God in us, we long to see you at work in our lives. Lord, hear our prayers. And the things in between, those events in the local news that grip our attention, issues with council, with roads, with the poor and homeless in our community, we pause to bring these things to God. God of life, we long to see you at work in our lives. Lord, hear our prayers. In all of these things, as we bring our prayers, we are reminded that faith without works is dead. And we ask you to help us to find ways to act on our prayers, to support where we can, to speak where we can, to be Christian in our deeds as well as in our words. All these things we pray in and through our wonderful Saviour Jesus, who taught us to pray, our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Before we say the benediction and grace together, I just want to thank everyone who made the service special this morning. The music as well as the sound as well. So let's say the benediction together. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forever. Amen. Thank you. The children have worked really hard and they pull it off today, so thank you. (laughs) All right.